Right, hello, and uh, welcome to another commentary from uh, oh, yeah. arguably the best team in the world on pro clubs that don't play any up out of the back or human keeper. Anyway, oh, good football. Yeah, so it's so it's Jaffers, and uh, I'm joined today by Luke. Hello. To was, uh, those of you may know, Luke, club captain. So uh, this was a cup game we were playing here. Uh, I think it was a semi. They've got a lot of players, haven't they? Yeah, so I think they have got Giorgio Chiellini actually playing for them. Literally the man himself. But that's what I mean, because isn't the pros called that, and the pros meant to be based on you, so I assume it's literally just him. Probably literally is him. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> so this was the semi-final of the cup. Um, we were playing sort of a bit of an unusual lineup here. We had myself obviously playing striker. Um, we had Martin and Sindra playing centre mid, and we had Matt playing an unfamiliar holding mid role, which, you know, he did all right. To be fair, oh, that's a good tackle. He's no Spooner, but uh, he's no, no one Spooner. Well, hang about. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. So, I'm j obviously, I don't think Luke, you've been in like many of the videos. No, I, I don't think. I think I've been in maybe one. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Luke's a bit like the, um, he's a bit like Gary Monk, like he's the captain, but he never plays. He's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not good enough for the club anymore, which is a shame. Yeah, that's why. Just keep him in for morale now. But, um, it's a bit like Steven Gerrard last season, just permanently injured. Oh, anger back. Yeah, I suppose. So, um, you see in this game a world-class performance from Jaffers. Um, Sindra FC is a now known. <laughs> yeah, now called now known as Sindra FC. But, um, nice bit of qual there from me, getting a shot away. Oh. Oh. Should have done should better. Have, he should have, uh, at this level, you have to hit the target, I'd say. Yeah, you, uh, I have to. What, is this a cup semi final or what? Yes, cup right. semi final. So. Yes, cup semi final. So, let's get this lad on the ball here. Balotello passes it back. Chiellini. Now, it was oh, like, like that, such you know, a privilege yeah, to share the pitch with literally Giorgio Chiellini. And Balotello, I don't know who that is. He's not that famous. No. He might be, you know, for like Milan new preserves. <laughs> Playing uh, across Fernando Torres on the wing. Oh, that's where you play oh, Torres. Exactly. Well, I mean, probably, you know, you don't play him as oh, dry guys. Be so not... It's got to be better than that, Got to be better than that. Love the switch of the play. Just about keeping the ball here. He's there. Ah, the tech is... Sindra is looking like a chimpanzee. Out there. <laughs> oh, and you can see, you can see that we don't have Spooner, can't you? Spooner would have gone into two point by this point, but at least the attack would have broken down. As soon as anyone does a skill move, Spooner just whips out both sets of studs. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't care for any nonsense. So uh, yeah, that just fizzled out. Goal kick, really. So as you can see, here, Jaff is just literally clutching at scraps. The other team in complete control yeah, of the game. Yeah, didn't really have that. <laughs> like, so now we've got back to the AI doing it all. By Matt. And a ball by Martin. Ball. Ball. That's the ball getting <laughs> away. Shocking play, really. It's got to be better. So uh, here we go. Bit of bit of football getting played now. Because Walsh is on the ball. As soon as Walsh touches the ball, you know ball's getting whipped out. Sindra that. thinks he's playing striker. And now it's fizzled out. Oh, hang on, Matt. It was quality. Oh, not... First bit that was quality. Quality yeah, skill. Sindra sort of turning it on when he needs to. This team very, very powerful on the break. The break yeah, with many fair. men behind the ball. It's a good ball. Yeah, it's a good He's ball. taking too much momentum out of it. About. That was a good play, that. It's decent, yeah. That's Balotelli. That's literally for Mario Balotelli. Balotelli has finished now. It's Balotelli. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's stick. Obviously, with the two centre halves, I found it sort of quite difficult in this game because we're both sort of picking me up constantly. But I uh, managed to have a bit of testy. Oh, at this level, you have to do better than that, I think. <sighs> it's getting really testy. Here. I mean, at the top level, you've got to really do better. I think you put a top striker in there. He scored. <laughs> yeah, I remember this because they had two centre halves and they had a holding mid. So um, yeah, it's a bit mad, a bit congested. Chances for a premium, shall we say. And the ball's going to have to play for a throw in. And of course, us not having Spooner. Tyler thing. We should have got Martin Tyler in there and, and Andy Gray as co commentators on this. Andy Gray? He's <laughs> <laughs> now. He changed his name, Andy, in the wake of the scandal. I hope not. Well, that's what happened. Same commentator, different name. It's like how John Leslie changed his name to Eamon Holmes. And he's looked at the girl. And he's raped her. And he's looked at his friend and he said, Look what I did. <laughs> and said, I know. 
And he's oh. <laughs> Jesus, what a save. You think these could be out of sight by now? We've only played half an hour. We've got, to, of course, they've got a lot of danger from corners because they've got two centre halves. So. Yeah, well, just because it, corners are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, but especially with two centre halves, yeah. we don't have Spooner. So, uh. But to put it in our own net. <laughs> oh, nah, to be fair to Spooner, he, he defends corners reasonably. Well. Unless as soon as he starts doing anything that requires like more than like the grain of a gibbon, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so if they do, you know that old trick when they put a man on the line and pull him off? Uh -oh. That's like the bane of Spooner's existence. <laughs> he doesn't know how to handle it. Spooner can't work that one. Martin did well to see it's that. Walsh in a bit of space. What happened here? Can't remember. That's what going to do. Uh -oh. I mean, they're dealing with you. You look like Lionel Messi against Madrid. <laughs> completely <laughs> in a bit extra. Well, uh... <laughs> nah. That's the one frustrating thing I find in this game is, like, being pushed in the back. Because it's, it's lit that you don't understand how frustrating it is. Maybe they're just proud to be friendly, giving you a pat on the back. Nah, good they can just fucking, like, <laughs> kick you in the arse and all sorts. And it's just yeah, like, but that's just, you know... <laughs> So Jaffa's there, forty percent of the ball. Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. I, mean, I was embarrassed to be part of this team. I mean, it's one thing having forty percent of possession. It's another thing having forty percent of possession when you pride yourself on your possessions. Yeah. <laughs> it's like if Madrid have forty percent of possession against Barcelona, fair enough. If Barcelona have it, you gotta start asking questions. True. True. <laughs> gotta go back to Walsh here. Oh, I mistimed. I think it should have gone earlier. Possibly, yeah. 22 so, uh, million. Remember when Matt touched the ball last? Two minutes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Here we go. Obviously, playing at holding mid like Matt was, um, his main role was just sort of trying to cut out the counter attack, which, to be fair, you can see like the danger they have in the position there. Well, and, yeah, but now, so he's decided he wants to play everyone on side, and for some reason, instead of looking at any head up, he went for the shot. Yeah, so that's uh, half time, nil nil. It's been a bit, we've been on the back foot a little bit here, to be honest. You have, you have. So it's got to be better. What are the changes being made tactically at half time then? Uh, I can't remember. We might have <laughs> change, but probably not. I can't remember. We didn't really have the right players because obviously they had like massive danger on the counter attack. We couldn't start putting. What a great game first up. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't start putting Martin and Cinder on the wing. Cause, nah, you've, um, got, you've got. They, if I was their manager, I'd say stop slowing it down. They're, they're at the most dangerous when the tempo is faster. That's true, that's true. I don't get why there's, they've got players on their team that are just stopping every time they get it. Yeah, I suppose. And it's not really good enough, to be honest. So there's eight tackles each, uh, no fouls. It's a clean game, very clean game. Good, like we'd like to see, eight, three percent passing from both well, sides. If we don't have Myers or Spooner, there's barely any fouls. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Myers and Spooner are just like, how many reds do you want? <laughs> I would have been sent off, I think. Okay. There was that bad ta Nah, there was a bad... He played time. about 40 games for the club on FIFA 30. Nah, I, I've, I've, I've had a plus six or seven reds. But, um... <laughs> Fucking hell, not in 40 games, you've not. <laughs> yeah. No, I remember when I had those five games where I got sent off in three of them. Oh, I remember that. I was going mental here. I was like, you can't do that. If he's gonna start fucking about trying to do techers in his six yard box, you gotta punish him when it goes wrong. Well, then it's literally showing you how it's done now. They're just purchasing fouls. Like, <laughs> nah, he literally got foul away with murder there. Yeah. But, um, oh. Well, I, I think you did. I think it could have been a card there, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Never a card. Never a we'll card. You have it your way if you want. Never a card, son. So, uh, so, so uh, they've got someone whose name ends in 2002, and then someone whose name ends in that in 88. So like, I don't know. Either the numbers that aren't signifying birth year or some some sort of odd friendships going on there. Not gonna lie. I don't know. Oh, he did well. That was nice, nice bit of tackles. It was great control. The box. The some of the quality players they've got here. What they really need to add is sort of a top, top quality player, and I mean a top quality player. Need to add me, really. Yeah, nah, they should have need uh, McCusker. Before I signed for Jaffers, I was considering, because, well, you know what I mean, on FIFA 13, I was considering just trialling for another club before, because I didn't have any stats for Jaffers, if you see what I mean. And then just leaving after, like, two days, but just to see how other teams played, and they're, like, you know, like a sort of spy. 
true, but every other team, it, well, most, of the, well, to be fair, we don't know. Like there could be other possession-based teams, but like well, usually we are good in possession. Look at the possession here. Look at this. Well, in this game, nah. In this game, we got dominated in possession because we didn't really have like the midfield to win the ball back. Like who's winning the ball back on the team here? Do you know what I mean? None of the none of the lads on the pitch are ball winners here. So, and then well, uh, Strick can do it. And also, like that happened way too many times. Like we, like me, more so me and Martin and Sindra, sort of let their humans win the ball off us just like that, just too easy. Yeah, just walking into it. Yeah. No finesse, no poise by Walsh. It's just all simple. Just walking into them. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> Fifty million for what? <laughs> <laughs> but usually, um, yeah, well, most of the games, well, it's like really rare for us to have less possession. But I don't know if that's because every other team plays counter attack or it's just that we're better in possession than a lot of teams. It's got to go back to Martin there. Yeah, I was fouled. Oh, <laughs> you got away with murder there. <laughs> he did, son. No, he, you were lucky that he went, you got pushed Rake. into it. Teach Ken Evans a thing or two about race there. <laughs> Jen Evans, get your notebook out. <laughs> you need to start making notes for myself. Oh, not exactly a smart free kick, that was it. Yeah. No. Oh. I don't really know about smart the free kick taker. Now we've got Spooner. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean Spooner's got eight times. Anyone. Well, Spooner just obviously they can't dip it or anything. He just has to blast every free kick. What a call by the ball back. <laughs> Tell you what, if you bottle that AI, you take him everywhere. <laughs> Take you to every game we can. It's out there, ground this. Yeah, so, what round the cup was this in? Uh, this is the Premier Cup, obviously. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Team. What round? It's a semi final. Alright, what are you here? What happened in the final? Did you lose? <laughs> what did you say? What happened in the final? Did you lose? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's a good play on the wing, good bit of wing play here. Oh, this is what I mean, they've got to keep it higher tempo because look what happens when they don't. Yeah, I know. Knocks it off, and they are actually playing that Barcelona now. It's like watching Barcelona versus off the sooner, isn't it? Well, well, now let's not be silly. It's like watching Barcelona against Granada. To be honest, like at the minute for me, their centre halves were what was winning them the game because I mean, it, well, what was like putting them in this position because it's obviously it's nil nil. I mean, they, they had so much of the ball but they'd not really done anything with it. Like they hadn't created any chances where you'd say that had to, that should have been put away. Like in the first half, they only had one shot, and it wasn't on target. Yeah, that's not really good enough. But, um, but for that much, because they had 60% of the ball, one shot out of it, it's not really good enough. For that, especially against an AI defence, four at the back, they were actually like quite poor. What was keeping them ahead? Well, what was keeping them level was the two centre halves that they had, basically were. Like the set, every time I was getting on the ball, I was getting sort of closed down immediately by the centre halves, and it didn't let. It meant that like Martin and Sindra couldn't get off the pitch. Ball. So um, yeah, we were quite um, sort of closed off. So this is the first time I had the ball in a bit of space. And yeah. Lost it there. And that's the typical Walsh when he has it on the ball in a bit of space. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Did you see that though? The way he can just casually just fucking. Matt's just like surging forward here. Oh, this is good play. A little triangle linking up. Lost it yeah, I knew that would happen. <laughs> oh, that was a bit hefty one, wasn't it? Yeah. It's quite there. Um, no, it's big, the game no. set to a nice river, mate. There's not long left. Oh. <laughs> Centre cars are really getting under my skin in this game. <laughs> I can remember why. It was just so frustrating. Because it felt like every time I picked up the ball... It's like if Jerry Barton played up front you. It's way too easy to get you wound up. <laughs> well, nah. I can... <laughs> like you today. I wasn't four, getting wound up. There, number four's leaving in an ambulance if you get wound up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wasn't getting wound up, but I was getting like... I wasn't like losing my composure, but I was. Oh, a bit it's got to be a card. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I made the Sindra pull up as I was making it. Oh, okay. He and almost <laughs> leaves that goal. Certain goal, no. He should have been better there. He should have been. He's alert when to pull the trigger. <laughs> yeah, he does. He pulled the trigger when the when opponents put the gun against his own face. <laughs> Shot himself in the face. He's only got a gun there. That's something Mario Balotelli might actually do as well. That's the best part. <laughs> what, whip a piece out? <laughs> Just like, yo, and then not realise it's been turned to his own face and still pull the trigger. How's it racist, that? Just because he's black. How's it racist? Stupid. 
Oh yeah, you stupid. <laughs> no, be fair, except I wake up in the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, who starts best amount of fireworks in the bathroom? <laughs> at least, at least use the living room if you're gonna set fireworks off in a room in the house. Yeah, look at the amount of. It's just on. It's just that stupid. That. I don't all five of them That's converging on me there. So. And this is just reverting to Tony Pulis here. Oh, no. Fuck it up. So <laughs> get <laughs> it. But so now, uh, yeah, yeah, end of the time. game, nil nil. So far, looking uh, at this, saying it's they not go for on the away time. goals draw, <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching. One goal draw at the end of the video, he couldn't. <laughs> so obviously, extra Is time. Is anyone still watching the video? Because <laughs> I wouldn't be watching this bullshit if there were no uh, goals. I would. Ah, oh, well, this is world class. <laughs> nah, so yeah, we've got extra, <laughs> extra time coming up here. The excitement of extra time. Oh, it's people getting a bit ragged. Yeah, it's not even been a shot on target yet. You know, this is them. It's funny because he's not seen extra time yet, so no one knows why this is a good game yet. Not gonna lie, this is one of them games where like the game was just fuck all. Then the extra time hits, and just like bang, it's just like bursts into life, you know, explodes into life. This game. Well, I mean, at the minute we're looking down the barrel of penalty kicks because I can't see how either side's gonna make a breakthrough. Oh, you're gonna see, and it's well, the, gonna be. Great. Well, you're not meant to. Don't reveal the result, Bradley. I'm not revealing the. <laughs> the more um... that there's a nice bit of play, uh, there's some nice play in the extra time. As as we'll see, so here we go. We've got seasoned extra time, extra time lads here. Walsh, of course, scored the famous winner in the final game of FIFA 12, but no one's seen that video yet because we've not commented on it. We've got. Oh, that was such a game. Of course. Like, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> we've got oh. <laughs> Well, we've got Matt on the pitch who scored a couple of extra time goals, but to be, you know he's playing all the mids. You don't have me on the pitch though. Yeah, no, the, the masters, the masters, of, yeah, the masters of uh, sort of big games really are Walsh, Myers, and arguably Smart now, but um, it's like the old guard still stands strong. So uh, in your big games you can't go wrong really. Yeah, you just you just whack the old guard on the park. His legs are getting tired, more space on the pitch. He's getting pulled, it's a penalty kick, surely. Oh, he's gone in. And the defender was trying to do a sweat, he's standing on the line, but it went wrong. <laughs> I was, I was, I went mental when I scored this, because he was pulling me in the back, and I was like, I'll fucking learn you to pull me in the back. You stupid con. It was so Because it was him, like, pulling me in the back. Good finish. But, um, and that's I, flipped the game on its head, hasn't it? Yeah, all of a sudden, 1 0 Jaffers, and we're like, hang about. Been on the back foot for a lot of this game, but all of a sudden, a bit of football. Yeah. And now, now. Well, now, I mean, the other team has to go and actually attack with purpose because they yeah. can't say what they're going to have to have a shot on target or two if they want. They can't just stick all the same fouls <laughs> on the line anymore. First shot on target this game, first goal. First shot on target, first goal, 100% <laughs> conversion from shots on target. Yep, you're right. Keeper hasn't made a save yet. <laughs> oh, hang about, I remember this. Lovely play. Yeah. Oh, oh. We, I was going on like, he had to score. He had to score. He did. Like, how did of so few chances what a what a little move they should have done better there and that's that's where you separate jaffers from pieces of shit because imagine if a jaffers player gets that chance in extra time after such a tight game it's score. difficult do you reckon we should have chipped it over him or what was his best fit just finesse with more power finesse with better quality basically yeah Ooh. oh yeah so basically God. when extra time started i remember saying like i want martin and Sindra further forward because I said, like, if we go out in this game, I'd rather I'd rather go out from, like... <laughs> I said I'd rather go out from a 2-0 loss than, like, lose on penalties. So, I said, like, Martin and Sindra get further forward. And that's I assume that instruction doesn't apply anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nah, in this game, I said Scored to them to still sort right. of stay roughly where they were. But I said to Matt to get and put, play all that analyse. It's like, if you look, the two centre mid just pushed further forward in the second period. <laughs> It's really helping them. Oh, I've walked it through you. <laughs> oh, we can't get the ball clear. Will they get punished? Slow them, bro. Walsh on it. The circle button. But it doesn't matter because the arse finished. And it's 1 0. It's Jeff Cakes FC. It's half time. Extra time. Indeed. And, uh, oh, it's a weird game. Boy, you can see. The players for goal. Is that is that Chiellini? It must be. Yeah, it, is. it actually does look like him. Is Maybe use the game face. Oh, there's your ball. There's your Balotelli there. With the oh yeah, yeah. So uh, 
nice time for the, the deal city team talk because we like to call it phil browner oh shit yeah well this is just looking like that cameraman fucking hell. he doesn't you know he, he doesn't mess about does he? he's getting right in the face you know you see his legs he was that just stood <laughs> there looking in the other direction <laughs> you know all of us, these were the stats now you can see so we've four shots of target in 15 minutes of football we had we had more of the ball second half and first half of extra time so possession had sort of gone up yeah, it was 56. So Jaffa's have, since they've made that tactical switch, moved the moved the midfielders further forward. It really is working for them. But it's very even. I mean, look at the pass accuracy. Nothing much to choose between it. And well, 90 minutes, no shots on target. Yeah, <laughs> first no, 15. Saying, I know it's saying, I know it's saying, no but it was a good tactical decision that by the manager. But what's he going to do now? Expect. How can he counter the threat that's inevitably coming? Because let's face it, second half, yes, Jaffa's created, but they created and they could have scored at least one, if not two. Well, it's this little create... thing we like to call leading chance. on the pitch, son. Leading on the pitch is what it's called. So. It's called, it's the called putting there. in a world-class performance. And now, I mean, this is called having, you know, a McCusker moment here. <laughs> McCusker moment. <laughs> but that was a smart, that was a smart <laughs> moment. McCusker-esque, you might say. Oh, the back beer. Oh, the back beer. The play's all over the place a minute. But here we go. These on the ball again. See, there's more space because the midfield's moved up. They've got all this space in the world. And that's a good ball. And he was unlucky not to get to it. It was a good idea by the uh, player. Or well, they've won a corner out of it, and you know how dangerous corners are. In it swings, comes out. Someone's got to have a pop here, surely. He's turning back, going the wrong way. <coughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, we were like, it, you can't it, legislate it. <laughs> You can't legislate for that. <laughs> well, it was a great shot. It was a good shot. Sends fell asleep after that shot. Yeah. And then he just comes in and gratefully accepts the gift. <laughs> what? Well, can you imagine that had come off the pair? Oh, <laughs> and all of a sudden, game back on again. Well, it was never really off. But it's again tight. Minutes, nine minutes. We're staring down the barrel of penalty nine kicks. To avoid pens. And you, you must say, the, the way the game's been going in extra time, there's no reason why either side can't go and win this. Eight minutes to go. Like there's the, there's no if anything they've probably created the more clear cut chances in this in extra time. Yeah, well we haven't really had a mega clear cut chance. Like the actual chance was well the actual goal was an exposed chance, proper chance, but it wasn't. Well it certainly wasn't an open net like they just had. I'd say that for nothing. <coughs> so I might pull an injury. up an injury. How crucial could that be? Walsh is in the back again. He goes that was into the story of this game. <laughs> A risk was being taken there because if the referee how high his boot was, they could, it could oh, be reached. Sometimes when you're leading from the front, you've got to take them risks. It's a brilliant ball! Whoa! It's going <laughs> so I'd just let you react to that on your own. It was what a bottom, what a finish. The touch yeah. there, get round the keeper as well. <laughs> what a bad goal, was it? Two chances, two goals. That's all you need. And it was absolutely clinical, and what a ball from Cinder as well. Yeah. Two players picking up exceptionally great finish. And now, is there a last turn? Yeah, yeah we're it's going to call it again. Everyone played Cinder. They lose the ball, and you cannot <laughs> possession in this situation. Martin does well. Cinder loses it. They have to keep the ball now. Got that, that's one of, that both their centre halves are up the pitch now because they knew basically like they knew the end. Um, they're giving it the best shot. Martin can't get it clear. The AI can, and that's it. And as Walsh was breaking there, <laughs> but they won't care. It's two-one. It's finished. It was a good performance. Uh, I'll let you wrap up. Well, uh, <coughs> see, this was um, serving man of the match as well. This was um. One of the more interesting games well, we've had, but um, game from Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, a very good night to you all. You know, wasn't the most exciting, but sort of showed that we can win sort of any game really. If we want, this was obviously like your TQ ball right here. I just went through some of the highlights after the game. Just look at that ball, perfect. That was absolutely excellent. I wouldn't mind watching that again. <laughs> and, uh, brilliant oh. goal, that. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> anyway. This slips in the back of the net. You gotta what? You gotta love the ball here. Eh? 
I watched it again from another angle, but I can't remember which one it was. We'll watch this again and then, you know, we'll wrap. Yeah, I think you watch this again. First time. Clearly well. onside. Look at the, the, the oh, run. easily onside both, first time. That was both center halves mono there by the movement. It's like just running through the middle. Like they didn't know he was meant to be picking me up, and then I was gone, <laughs> and it was in the net. Lovely. They didn't know he was meant to be picking you up. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Do you think they put that much thought into it? I don't have a clue. <laughs> but you know. Anyway. <laughs> Who's got him? Oh, for sake. Right, well, hope you enjoyed this video. And um, we'll have more videos, you know, soon. So, like, peace.